Well, how y'all are this afternoon? This is your buddy George Jones over here at the Bergen Gun Range with my next installment on. I got this old gun in my face. Hey, I got this old used gun. The old used gun I got today is the Remington 510 single shot bolt action 22 rifle. Now, this one is marked short, long, and long rifle. This is in fact a 510. Now someone has taken this gun and tried to refinish the stock. And they think they just poured, dipped it in boiled linseed oil and set it up in the corner and that was the end of that. Uh, and it's also got boiled linseed oil, looks like it, on the metal parts as well. They've tried to preserve it a little bit and it looks like a, oh I don't know, it's kitchen table top home gunsmithing project got a big lump of of solid solidified whatever the material is that's on the stock there's a big glob of it back here on the back um didn't do a very good job of refinishing the gun but uh, i've never shot this gun before but i'll bet you a five dollar bill to a french fried dog turd it's a good shooter and we're going to try it out right here now they made these guns from about 1922 to when did 39 60 39 to 62, they're my research assistant over here. 1939 to 1962. Probably quit making them during the Second World War or probably continued to make them because they'd be a good marksmanship training rifle. Um, I, you see a lot of these guys around in several different configurations. Uh, they made a factory youth model version of this guy with a 16 inch barrel. They made a full length and a gallery version of it, and uh, they made a target version of it with uh, peep sights on it and, and changeable front sights and so forth. Um, I think the first time I ever saw one of these things was at Camp McKee Boy Scout Reservation here in Kentucky when I was a little kid, and I remember it being a, a Remington. Uh, they made this thing in a smooth bore, a shot cartridge gun. You know, uh, for rat control around your place. You know, that sort of thing. Um, we're going to give it a try right here. I've got some uh, precision ammunition, complements of Apache armaments. We're going to lock one in there. Put that guy on fire. And see how it actually shoots. No ear muscles. 22 inch barrel, 22 long rifle. You don't need ear protection. Or I don't anyway. Let's try the... Oh, there's a four inch little, three inch Mickey Mouse target down there at 25 yards. Let's try it. <laughs> and that's a hit. That's a hit right there. All right, let's get ambitious. Let's go over here to the air gun targets. The air gun targets at 25 yards. These are the little one and three quarter inch steel chickens and rams and so forth. It's actually an air gun target. Let's see if we can hit one of them. And we sure can, buddy. This is, uh, this is a problem making a good upholstery gun. A good upholstery gun because you can drive tax with it. <laughs> There's a clay pigeon laying on the backstop back there at, 100, at uh, 50 yards. Let's try it. Automatically safe. Oops, I the chunk out of it. This is a good, you know this gun looks like HE double toothpicks warmed over dog barf on the outside, but on the inside, this is a solid gun. All right, we've got the little uh, popsicle targets down there at a 50 yards, so we can get one of them. Get it all safe. Oh, yeah. What do you want for this gun? We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I don't have a good uh, hunter safety kid rifle. I, I give that little Remington to the kid next door or give it to his grandma, you know, and taught him how to use it. Oh, this is a cute little gun right here. This is a real nice shooter. We, I could do this all day. I mean, you know, I own an Uzi, okay? 
But I'm the kind of guy that come out here and shoot a 22 rifle all afternoon. If I can get it all safe. Uh, so if I have anything to try and teach you today is just because a little gun looks <laughs> terrible, you know, it's a patinaed barrel and it's all rubbed down with ball linseed oil or lacquer or something. It did a terrible job refinishing the stock, you know, it's got a chip butt plate, so on and so forth, and just not a very nice looking rifle. It's a really good shooter, you know, and there's some there's some bargains out there. And the bargain of it is, it don't have to look good to shoot good. And if it shoots good, that's its worth. Uh, this gun's probably worth $100, $125. Uh, you know, I could buy this gun and, and uh, wet sand that stock down with 1200 grit and, uh, and you know, polish that stock back up because they put a lot of finish on here. They just didn't finish it out well. Um, probably take this, uh, the barrel in action down to the engine shop and uh, put it in the parkerizing tank and parkerize it and get it all one consistent color. Uh, you know, the, the parkerize, big parkerizing tank where they, where they uh, parkerize the crankshafts. Uh, and get it to looking a little bit better. But when it comes right down to it, it doesn't need it to make it kill squirrels. This is a real game getter right here. Uh, yeah, the gun's worth probably $100, $125 like it sits, you know. But uh, it's super accurate and a really great and smooth shooter, you know, which makes it in my book worth a lot more to me if I had it. Uh, well, <laughs> that's about the size of it. The old 510 Remington. Uh, pretty good old shooter, buddy. All right, then, that's about the size of that. Uh, like, take, share, fire, commentate, and scribble. Uh, join the NRA, because they're the best game in town. And uh, I'll see y'all when I see you. Bye now.